Hello folks, my name is Anubhav Jolly. I'm a technical marketing engineer with the campus product management team at Brocade Communications. Today I want to demonstrate the SDN capabilities on the ICX products of Brocade Communications. The demo is focusing on QoS, real-time traffic prioritization using the software-defined networking on ICX 6610. The topology is a typical campus network with the main building connected to different buildings within the same campus. With STN OpenFlow 1.3 support on ICX 6610, different data types can be classified with appropriate priority and can be enqueued in a proper queue for real-time traffic prioritization. Here, when an FTP traffic ingresses into the network, we can place the traffic in a lower priority queue 0 and program the switch through the controller with an SDN flow to place the FTP type data with VLAN PCP value 0. The controller then installs the flows on the other ICXs and the traffic can now flow from the source to the destination. Now keeping the traffic at a 100% line rate I'm utilizing the output link 100%. Now when a higher priority traffic comes in, say a voice data, we can place that data type in Q5 and get STN flow programmed on the switch to place the voice data type with VLAN PCP value 5. As we are already utilizing the 100% of the output link, so any new traffic will introduce over subscription. So the real test of QoS, we need to ensure that there is no loss of higher priority traffic here in the case voice with QoS value 5. To show you guys a live demo, let's log on to our devices. Here I can show you that we have no flows configured on any of the ICXs as of now. Similarly on ICX2, and now on ICX3. Now let's go to the OBS controller to program the SDN flow on the switch. Here, as you can see, I'm trying to install one of the flows on the switch which places the value of VLAN PCP 5 into the action queue of 3 is to 5 with the output port as 3. Once I apply this, this STN flow gets installed into the ICX switch. We can go and verify on that particular ICX switch As we can see, we have one of the flows installed with an input port as 111 with the VLAN PCP value 5 and it is queued in the value 5. Any traffic which is received with the VLAN PCP 5 will be enqueued in the Q5. Similarly, on the OBS controller, we can go and program the STN flow for the VLAN PCP value 0. Now, our ICXs must have two flows configured, one with the VLAN PCP value 5 and the other with the VLAN PCP value 0. Similarly, we can go to an ODL controller to configure the ICX flows on the other two devices. So let's go to the XIA generator and start the lower priority traffic first. As, I'm, as we see, there is a 100% traffic utilization for this particular traffic. As you can see, the traffic has started to flow for the VLAN PCP value 0 and we see a 0% of loss as of now because that's the only traffic which is running on the device. 
when we start the VLAN PCP5, one thing to note is I'm running only 20% of the higher priority traffic with the 100% utilization of the output link we should see exactly 20.35% of traffic loss on the lower priority traffic. So as we now see that the higher priority traffic has started to flow the transmitted frames is equal to the received frames and the number of loss packets have started to increase on the VLAN PCP value 0. On clearing the stats, we'll be able to see that the loss percentage would be exactly equal to 20.35%. As you can see, the VLAN PCP value 0 packets are getting dropped, the higher priority brackets are still flowing into the network with a 0% of loss, and the only loss seen on the VLAN 0, VLAN PCP value 0, is 20.35%. We can see the same result through a graph. The transmitted traffic is exactly same as the received traffic and there is a 0% loss while there is the transmitted traffic and the received traffic in case of VLAN PCP0 is we see a loss of 20%. This result concludes our demo for today. Thanks a lot for watching.